production line. <laughs> and as we see here, we're running critically low on plastic eyes for the teddy bears. And nobody wants yet another victim of the worldwide shortage in teddy bear eyes. So Chris is responsible for several factories, and so he's often on the road. He loves how he can use his iPhone with Oracle Business Indicators to keep tabs on the performance of his organization. And he can use that updated information as he goes into the meeting with the supplier to get an immediate resolution to the problem. Now, even though this supplier has stepped up to the plate and is helping solve our issue, there's still going to be a brief delay in delivering these outstanding orders. So again, using the power of business indicators, we can go in and view the outstanding orders. And as we see here, it looks like Bears and Mora, a key local retailer, is going to have the, the most impact. So we'd like to reach out to them and, and make sure that they're well informed as, as we go through the process. So again, Chris can use uh, Oracle Mobile Sales Assistant to retrieve more information about the Bears and More account. This uh, mobile sales application uh, goes into our, our back-end CRM system, again, establishes a secure connection back to the enterprise, and pulls up this uh, additional data. So as he scrolls down, we can see the account representative listed in the owner field. And in a few short steps, without even leaving the application, he can send an email directly to that account rep so that they can keep the customer informed while we fill their outstanding order. Even though Chris is at, on the road a lot, he can keep in constant contact, receive these alerts as he's, uh, as he's out there, and respond immediately to changing business conditions. Now, in real life, Chris is a member of our CRM product development team. Along with members of our business, uh, business intelligence team, we were able to modify two of those five applications I talked about earlier with the new capabilities of the iPhone SDK, including email sheet and push notifications. Thank you, everyone, and happy St. Patrick's Day. <clears throat>
If you come in on a 3G connection, you will get the best video quality experience for 3G. If you come in on a Wi-Fi connection, you will get the best video quality experience for Wi-Fi. So why is that a big deal for us? Well, first off, we are very focused on trying to deliver the best quality experience possible. And today, um, we often have to deliver for the lowest common denominator. With this, we don't have to do that. The new media player does the heavy lifting for us. Very good news. But again, that's not all. So at ESPN, we are very focused on delivering a very well-rounded experience. So with that, what I mean is, you know, as, as Scott had mentioned, we have a very highly trafficked iPhone web app. So for people who are seeking more information than the alert, we are integrating with our mobile website so that they can get the analysis or the statistics or the stories behind uh, the actual alert. So hopefully what we have shown has given you a little bit of a taste for what can be done with these new capabilities. And we at ESPN look forward to using them to continue to delight sports fans. Thank you. Now, as OK said, ESPN delivers over 50 million alerts a month. And it was because of volumes like those that we had to spend the last six months re-architecting the push notification service. <laughs> now we can. Next up is LifeScan. LifeScan is a Johnson & Johnson company. And it is the market leader in glucose monitoring. And in fact, in 1987, they pioneered the modern era of testing with the introduction of OneTouch technology. To talk you through their experiences and what they believe they can bring to bear with iPhone 3.0, I'd like to invite up Anita Matthew. Anita? Thank you. Thanks, Anita. I'm also here with my colleague, Ian Shadford. We're from LifeScan, a Johnson & Johnson company. And our vision at LifeScan is to create a world without limits for people with diabetes. Diabetes can be a challenging disease, and people often struggle managing the disease and living a normal life. So what we've created for you today is a groundbreaking prototype with tools to simplify diabetes management. Let's imagine we are walking in the shoes of Maddie a 15-year-old girl with diabetes. Maddie lives an active life. She tests her glucose at least six times a day. She also gives herself multiple injections of insulin, especially one to cover each meal. Let's say Maddie's at school. The first thing Maddie has to do is it's lunchtime, and she has to decide what, how much insulin to take to cover her meal. The first thing she has to do is to prick her finger and take her glucose reading with her one-touch system. You can see Maddie has to do this at least six times a day. That could be painful. Now, given the new iPhone 3.0 SDK, the meter can now transmit the reading to at Maddie's cool iPhone over, over the Bluetooth or the iPhone 30. 30. 30 pin connector. Maddie's iPhone is the envy of all her friends. And now she has her reading on her, on her iPhone. Once on the iPhone, Maddie can mark her reading as fasting before meal or after meal. She can also add a note. 